Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and I hope you're all ready for spooky story time once again because we are returning to the Dark Pictures Anthology with the most recently released entry, House of Ashes. And I've heard that this one is almost good, because so far, out of the other two I've played, I thought that Man of Medan was okay, the twist didn't really spoil that one for me, but little hope, the twist basically made the entire game pointless and irrelevant. So I kind of hated it by that point, but before that, I was enjoying it. But I've heard that this one actually kind of maintains all the way through. Still has unlikable characters, but I think that's just a necessity of this type of game for the, you know, horror movies that it's basing it off of. Plus, we have United States Armed Forces in this, so of course they're going to be unlikable. So let's get in here. We're going to play alone. I like that the game says, don't play alone for multiplayer. It just sounds like it's admonishing you, like, come on, man, don't play it alone. Play it with your friends. But we're going to play alone, because that's how I roll. So, let's get in here. And... I'm going to guess that lethal just makes stuff like the QTEs stupider by making them faster. So we're just going to do challenging, because there's already enough bullshit deaths in these games as it is. Though, if I remember correctly, I only lost one person in both games, in Man and Medan and Little Hope. One of them to a QTE that I had to keep succeeding at endlessly, even though I knew what was going to happen if I missed it. And one because I guess she didn't have the correct traits, so she got strangled by her ghost, even though she wasn't real. Uh, we're gonna overwrite. Because I did start this and then I had to fix something. Mouse and keyboard. Also, I've heard that there's a bit more freedom to the gameplay segments here. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8-7. Every choice has a consequence. Pretty sure the other ones didn't start with just explaining the game mechanics like this. Some decisions save lives. Others. Lead to death. Don't want to be like this guy, with a crow picking at your skull. Choose wisely. So we start off with a prologue, just like the other two games that is set in the past. However, this one is set in the very distant past. These guys didn't choose wisely. Akkad, 2231 BC. So I actually had to do a little research because I had never heard of the Akkadian Empire, but it is one of the oldest kind of nations that was considered an empire. No! I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Velasco, forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. Is it so urgent that I can't sacrifice this man? On you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Says the guy who's trying to fix his king's curse. General, we should leave this place. King, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. I like that he has like a beard plate to protect his beard. Or is that just his beard? It looks like he has like a chainmail mesh covering it. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are... Hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. It's time not easy no to slit all those throats hands. one by one. 
No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. So I guess that's the reason this room is pointlessly large, is because it's a Tell me, General. a penance to the god Does that he offended. Remind you of anyone? My king. Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What not age really. Would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Why would we be reluctant here, though? Like, you know, he's a compliant servant of his king. That's why he's the sacrifice guy. Oh, we're getting some QTE tutorials. We have to learn all the different ways to quickly press buttons. See, my king, this is why sacrifices take so long. Oh. Alright, where is she? Oh, there she is. I think the aiming one will come up a couple times in this because, you know, we are a squad of armed soldiers, so we're gonna have guns. Probably not very effective guns, but guns nonetheless. There's another one for the pile. See, she didn't choose wisely either because she chose not to be an Akkadian. Also, I did a little bit of reading on Akkad and I guess there was actually historically some kind of record of a curse. So this is loosely, I think, tying into that. Wow, this guy seems like a experienced prison cell escaper based on that little movie just did. <laughs> Kicking his shin out. sacrifice has escaped. The only one we actually saw. That seems like it would take a lot of space, though, if each of them had an individual cell like that. That was a pretty large cell. Could have fit like ten people in there. This is a pretty massive temple city thing. I like that they also put a belly button on the statue. I mean, that's gotta be a pretty bad symbol, right? When you've offended the moon god and then an eclipse happens? You kinda gotta take that as like the moon god giving you a big fuck you. Stomping around is going to wake up folks below. And these people are going to learn that this was a bad place to build a temple. Gods give me strength. 
It's funny because they, they made a big deal out of like, no, we swear the monsters in this are real and not imaginary or hallucinary or anything like that. And then they even showed them? So I kind of know what they look like going in here. The king is dead. So I guess they came up from underground and slaughtered their way through. <laughs> That spear does not look thick enough to hold that door for even a second. Remember me? <laughs> hold on, I gotta take this. Been cursed. This is why we were trying to sacrifice you. I thought you were the demons. You were wrong. The king sacked the temple at Nippur. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. My king? Free of his madness now. As I thought that was going to be relationship down with the dead king. <laughs> this is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacombs. You think I should trust you? Yes. That's kind of the theme of this game. Enemy of my enemy is my friend. I think that's what they're trying to convey here. I believe our marine boys later might meet a Republican guard they have to side with or not side with. Catacombs seem like a bad idea though considering they came from underground in the first place. Help me with this. Got a button mashy one. Yes, let's seal ourselves in the room with the giant pit leading into the ground. Yes. For the builders when they're done. Come. Oh. That's nice. They build you this big stupid temple and then you kill them and throw them in a hole. Seems like an inefficient use of uh, slave labor. Okay, here's the other mini game, the heartbeat one. I think I usually don't fuck this one up except for that one QT with the cat in Little Hope. He doesn't seem that panicked though, so his heartbeat is very low, which makes it easy. Demon just snuffling around out there. This tutorial prologue section seems longer than the one in the other games, but I've heard that this one is just a rat overall longer than either of the other Dark Pictures games. How many men died for our king? Which is good, because the other two nothing. definitely missed out on character development because of their short length. Oh. We have the examine mechanic, where we can... Oh no, a scarab. He seems very on edge, startled by a lot of small things. Oh, we get to walk around. So yeah, this actually just freely lets you 
you know, move the camera instead of having it tied to the location. Because the previous games used sort of a fixed camera. We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. And yet, we never learn. History repeats itself endlessly. It's crazy, no? I just noticed that the entire floor of this room is blood. Was that there before? Is that from the builders? No. Oh, this might be a... yep. A teaser hint. A hint that... Is his name Karoom? Will climb out of the hole? What is in this hole, anyway? Yeah, that really just goes down. You know, games love to have these massive underground structures that are ancient, you know, like uh, Amnesia Rebirth. But I don't think anyone ever actually built giant holes like that. I don't know if they had the architectural knowledge to build a giant well. Alright, we got lots of meat, we got lots of blood. These guys really didn't, really didn't clean these bodies up before they left them down here. This room has got to be completely vile to be inside of. Now, this is not the way we came in? Here, help me with this. Come here, I can't QTE this alone. Oh no, apparently he can, even though it's equal size to the one that we just QTE'd. Oh, well, there's Pazuzu. Demon of the desert. You first. Old or snake dick himself. You first. What is this that adorns you? Nothing to concern. Kind Anakalia. of a weird time to ask about that. This hieroglyphic How cylinder. Get out of here alive. We help each other. Again, the running theme. The enemy of my enemy. Oh my god, he's actually just he's gonna say friend. it. We really yep. want to hammer that home. There also, always hope. those Kopesh have to be really annoying to sheathe. Because of their curved shape, I feel like they'd be a lot harder to stick into a what sheath. Compared to like a katana, which only has a slight curve, you'd have to like really twist it as you're shoving it in there. I don't think they have a sheath, though. I think he just has, like, a belt loop. We're not alone down here. Yes, because we are together. Like we just said. But no, let's press deeper on into the tomb. Over here. Also, how long has this temple been here to have this, like, catacombs underneath it? I feel like it's got to be pretty fresh. Oh, hello there, boys! Why don't you come right in? Yes, let's do that. Alright, how many QTEs can we survive before these boys die? Because these, these prologues always end with most people dying. There's you no know, the, or the sailors in no. Man of Medan. Then we both die. And most of the family in Little Hope. Betray or fight. No, we fight together. Stronger together, like apes. Yes, we do this. So I'm gonna guess these things are not unkillable, but they're probably pretty hard to kill. Perhaps too hard for a Bronze Age sword. I didn't see that one. I hate that the QTEs are never in a consistent spot. They can just appear anywhere on the screen. So like you hear the noise and then you have to look for the QTE. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that's the end of us. So I don't think we would have lasted much longer even if I hadn't fucked up. Alright, time to go. Maybe jump in the pit. No, here we go with another Oh Death cover. They just get increasingly worse every time. Like, from what I heard, the one in Until Dawn sounds fine, and then it just, like, every one of these dark pictures, they get a worse cover. Or is this the same bad one from Little Hope? I do like to think that the curator here is just like playing these covers in this hall as he walks in. Like he's picturing himself as like a WWE wrestler doing his intro. In his hallway of dark pictures. Now, don't get me wrong, I do enjoy covers of songs done in other genres than the original song, but I don't think this kind of, like, grimy rock really fits this song. I am surprised, though, that with all the PS4 games basically we're getting ported to PC now, that Until Dawn isn't on there. It's like, you know, we're getting God of War, we got Horizon Zero Dawn, Days Gone. It's a very weird smattering of games that they're picking. And of course, none of them are going to be current gen. What is that one from? Is that from Until Dawn? Just someone on fire walking around? on the edge of an abyss. All right, calm down. We just got here. Your survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness forever? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Is that line in there specifically because I have save files from the other two? As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian. Because there was a cut right before it. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do every decision or mistake you make. And sometimes I make judgments. This is my repository. Offer hints. But you don't have much use for those, do you? Stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. You can already see the fourth book there. that I am not here to help you. Which I think has already been teased since each of these games ends with a teaser. I think it's called Devil in Me. From time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Like a transformer. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures. Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best I also don't remember Little Hope having a alas, picture of time have run out. that hinted at this we game, because Man and Dad had one from Little Hope. 
but I don't know if I just didn't get it, or there wasn't one, or I just don't remember it. Anyway, back to 2003, war in Iraq, Saddam's palace. Is a Blackhawk supposed to only have one fin on the tail? Jason Kolchak, First Lieutenant, USMC Force Recon. Confident Colonel. and intolerant. Good trip. Of course he's intolerant, the first guy we get introduced to. Rational, but insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Obviously, he's going to apologize if he's fast. insecure. I hear you, Colonel. Doesn't want to cause any offense. Board. Techs are ready for your presentation as soon as we get word from the CEO. Oh my god, he's got a go. fucking remember 9 11 hat. This. this guy is a stereotype in one Texan accent, 9 11 hat, there? intolerant. There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. Like a USMC poster you boy. Are. Careful, Clarice. That's valuable research. Yes, sir. -y. Dr. Stokes, at your service. First Lieutenant Jason Kolchak. Wow. The briefing room? I'm guessing the doctor is not military trained. <laughs> What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? I was gonna say, these two fraternize him, but no, she's CIA, and he's just one of the Marines. And she's abrasive. Defensive, but romantic. Is he gonna be our good boy? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. Just I like I was lifting you up you. there. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. Well, that's awkward. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. I didn't. I didn't take anything off. Tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Say nothing. <laughs> uh, I I want to reassure her, but I feel like she's not gonna do that. We should put this on ice. That seems like on a ice? a character trait of hers just already. Like so what? We just we just stop. Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. If my husband is here, for crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? I like how that that gave her a on, plus just, one to responsible. Have to keep like yeah, I stuff. was cheating, but now it's time to stop. Sounds like Because I might get man. caught. Say no more. I get it. Shit. I don't know what that weird load was there. Mid sentence. <laughs> Gotta hide this. Or maybe that'll come in handy later in the caves. Oh, yeah, remember that lighter I picked up? have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenails. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. I don't even know who the DIA are. America. Department of Internal Affairs? This doesn't seem like a very internal affair. Uh, 
see you, old man. Keep busting out those reps. Hey, uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Gonna spot me, little lady. And see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. No, that's all of us. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. <laughs> Just trying to be friendly. So what's his malfunction? Oh, he doesn't have social he skills either. Lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. Nick took it hard. The rest of us didn't really give a shit. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? Now here's our tech boy. So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Again, he's insecure. He wants everyone here to like him. Give the colonel full sight access. Sir. Fuck, only I wanted to have sight access. It's my only card. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. I mean, I knew her name, but I guess I never made that connection when you introduced yourself. Hot damn. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. Those pillars so must have some pretty good varnish on them. They're still that she's shiny. Up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Last time I saw her, she was just princess, bitch. It doesn't want to show us what's in that box. Right. I'm gonna look for myself. There's nothing in that yeah, box. With the data. Fuck. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. No, oh, got a document here. Got a deal, lady. Detecting CEO Rachel anyway. King. Confidential, I'm gonna have to talk over them. With the survey group becoming operational today, it's, impar like to it's imperative to stress the need for mission success. Our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. U.S. forces have been engaged to end the threat to international community from Iraqi WMD. Until we prove that threat that we made up, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under an international law, which makes us look bad. Not that we give a shit. With the cessation of- oh. Alright, I guess I was on a time limit to read that until they were done talking. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, That's Lieutenant King team. to you. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. But things escalated. I had to try to make him the nice one. She can I be the bitchy one. to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. He's also Order. probably going to be the first one to die. I'm now commanding officer. So you can call me Commander King. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. Oh, so she gets to read it, but I don't. I'm going to need access to your network. I'll pass you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Hello, Clarice. 
Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What the fuck is that? Modern art or something. This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. No, because it's classified. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. Satellite sees a big hole in the ground. Son of a bitch. So that's where they Saddam gotta be. Saddam has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. I assume it's just going to be that big central right chamber we saw. Helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? Since I know nothing about this area. What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. Yeah, high five. Right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Say nothing. I mean, this seems like a big deal. I feel like you'd want air support for something like this and not just like some little shithole cave. I'll put in a request for air support to be on standby. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in nope. the Zagros Mountains, Important so crow moment. Ground cover. We go I wonder if that just means... Hey, no that's a choice that will actually affect hours. something later. CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every Not morning. Not the oil, but the oil's very Make convenient. No mistake, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. All right, so we gotta go find some chemical weapons in an underground storage Bruce, facility. Help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I guess based entirely on his know, thermal man. imaging. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie, look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Why does this bucket look so Is tall? There you can do? Look, he's got a cone head under there. I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well? This team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're forced recon. It's their job to be ready. It's also their job to be, you know, in the front. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision. It would be very to awkward to change my mind now. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. I missed you. I Eric. haven't. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind, when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. Now, I'm guessing this, this is a bit of a one-sided relationship. I just want things to go back to the way they were. 
before we were in Iraq. Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Look, Eric, we'll talk when we have time. But not here. Not like this. Not in front of Clarice's judging stares. You're still wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. The whole point of those cases is that you don't have to be that careful the with them. Is that? Oh, man, it's a semen stick. Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. And other Let things. Me have a go. No. <laughs> Let me have a go. I just want to wave it around. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's not exactly Five high technology ASAP there. For you. Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. Work with Connections kind of shit out here. I'm sure Saddam's palace had some pretty good Wi-Fi. Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh sure. Okay, so he's also check the paperwork guy. Then check it again. Yeah. I hear Wait, you. he wasn't wearing that a second ago. There was nothing around his neck when they were talking about the wedding ring, and now it's gone again. What the fuck? <laughs> the invisible chain. Unless it's like exactly the width of his. Neck, shirt, pole. Alright, this tells me that we're moving in from multiple directions. Except, I thought we were just one team going in. Alright, let's touch everything. So yeah, I guess we're going to wrap up here in a moment. I just don't know if it'll save until we transition to the next scene, because usually it doesn't save at the start of these walk-arounds. I don't know, the way this thing breaks up into chapters is kind of weird for all of them. There has not been a single one of these that I did not have to play a little bit before reaching the point where we actually stopped the episode. Hmm, 40 millimeter grenade. <laughs> I don't know what he wants me to look at here. If there's anything. Or he just wanted to touch it. Is this what I think it is? WP oh. shirt. White well, phosphorus. White phosphorus. It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Sometimes for cooking civilians, you know. Let the boys have their toys. If they want to commit war atrocities, that's on them. Alright, now can we read it? Without Rachel interrupting me, or anyone else. Okay, so we have to prove WM WMDs, because this is an illegal war. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Exploit, not capture or anything, just, hey, we can make use of them. Our allies in the international community need reassurances that our intelligence services are sound, and they actually know what they're talking about. Simon Fuller, SG Operations Head, Director of Human Intelligence, DIA. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to touch in this room. Okay. I don't actually know where we are on this map. I guess we are in uh, either the west or the north. I don't know where the fucking palace was. Expected to be placed under Iraqi control in 2007. This small sliver of their fucking country. I mean, hey, they only just pulled it out this year. Seven, 18 years later <laughs> after this. Okay, what do we got? To, oh, I oh, almost couldn't fit through there. But yeah, it is a lot nicer being able to look around freely like this instead of hoping that a camera angle will show you the thing you want to look at so that you can interact with it. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. 
it's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. <laughs> so you're my technician, then. So you're my technician. I've heard about you. They say you're good at lifting. So. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Okay, so that's climbing gear. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Couldn't actually tell what it was supposed to be, because it's just like harnesses. Okay, we got another document here. Is it the same one? Survey group objectives to director, Directorate of Central Intelligence, Directorate of Central Intelligence. The objectives of the survey group are stated, organize and direct intelligence capabilities across coalition government agencies and armed forces. Apply intelligence expertise to discover, capture, and exploit information on individuals, facilities, and operations related to weapons of mass destruction. God damn it. <laughs> Stop interrupting. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. I just want to read one document. What? What? You what? asked me something. I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper? Hey, nice guy. Around I here, like that cut nice there. Cut it. Based on what we said to him already. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind? All right, so we're going to end it here because this hard cut like that means that it will save. So we're going to save here and continue next time as we actually get to the mission site and, you know, find out what the situation is there. Until then, you folks all take care and thanks for joining me on the beginning of our journey into another dark picture.